Hello YouTubers, Atari Leaf here with kind of an update video. Uh, I've been getting a lot of PMs and um, comments, people asking me how I'm doing. Uh, personally, uh, and the family, we're all okay. Uh, nobody's dying, no, there's no health issues or anything like that. Um, and I took down the last video where I said I was going on hiatus because it did sound too depressing when I looked back on it, so I got rid of it. Uh, I didn't want that hanging as my last video. Uh, so this is just an update. I'm not coming back per se yet. I might do a review or two, but uh, as for coming back regularly like I used to, uh, you're probably not going to see that. Um, one thing you're probably not going to see for sure a lot of is pickup videos. Uh, and that's because the main reason I kind of went on hiatus is I wanted to take stock of my collection. It had been getting out of hand. Uh, and if you've watched the last bunch of my videos, I've done a lot of pickup videos. And uh, it's my own fault, but I started to think that uh, I was buying stuff just to make pickup videos for YouTube. I was buying anything just to play games. Or not just, just to make videos. I wasn't even playing the games. I would test them out maybe, then they would go on a shelf and that's it. And I didn't want to be that kind of collector. I had When I first started, I had very specific goals I wanted to achieve. I wanted to collect for the Atari systems. I wanted to collect for the Coco. Uh, a little bit with the NES and, and some of the other systems that I grew up with. Well, then it kind of got out of hand. Every time I'd find a new system, I'd start buying games for it, even if I didn't want to play them. So I took a break uh, because I found it was getting a little overwhelming for me personally, and uh, YouTube and video game collecting wasn't as fun as it had been. So I, I wanted to stop for a while and kind of take stock and make some changes. So I did get rid of a lot of things. Um, I probably sold close to two thousand dollars worth of my collection, and it's a lot of the, a lot of the rare stuff is gone. Uh, I had two Vulture Attacks, a uh, Spider Maze, the um, T Handle Atari games. I sold those. That those were like three hundred dollars for those three. Um, some systems that I got rid of: uh, Dreamcast, and I want to thank Thomas Thirty One Twenty because that was a raffle win from him. Uh, but I and I let him know that I did end up getting rid of it. Uh, the ZX Spectrum is going back to him. It's boxed up and put away. I just got to find the time to do it. Uh, and television is gone. And uh, oh, the other—that's another thing. Uh, at the time I made that last video where I said I was going on hiatus, I sounded really depressed. Um, that particular day, uh, we had our car had a like a major breakdown. We thought it was the transmission, so I was really depressed on top of it because of that. So. In hindsight, I probably shouldn't have made the video that day because my mood wasn't that great. Uh, it turns out it was the drive shaft, though. Uh, similar symptoms, but a much cheaper fix. So anyway, the reason I'm mentioning that is because uh, the Intellivision went to a friend of mine in all the games, well, most of the games, uh, because he used his pickup to tow me uh, once from where it was broken down. It was a Tim Hortons. <laughs> Tim Hortons to my house, and then a couple days later from my house to my mechanic, uh, who's a friend of mine. And he wasn't in town at the time, or else it could have just gone straight to the mechanic. Anyway, long story short, he told me twice with his pickup. So he saved me probably, what's the tow cost? 50, 60 bucks, maybe? At least around here. So I said, you know what, to make it up for it to you, he's always expressed interest in the Intellivision. I gave it to him. Uh, what did I keep? Well, one of the things I did was... I took stock of, of the collection, and for the Atari 2600, for example, um, which is up on top there, I'll bring the camera over here, um, I, I started to think to myself, can I find 100 games that I would play? I got to 99, and I think uh, Taz was the throw in here. So they're mostly old school Atari games, the arcade conversions, Activision games, and whatnot. So from almost 300 games, I kept about 100. Now there are maybe another 80 or 90 in the basement boxed up that I haven't been able to sell yet. They're not really common games. They're kind of uncommon, but anyway. So yeah, I kept about 100 in the collection. Uh, 7,800. There's only 20 there. There's about 50 Atari 8-bit games. Again, these are mostly arcade conversions. Uh, the Coco stuff remains pretty much untouched. Uh, NES. 
Now the NES, uh, I had about 130, 140 NES games. I have 35. I went through and I picked out the games that I would actually play. And it's astonishing, of the ones I had, that's all I, I honestly would play. So uh, the DS, that's actually my daughter's. That's one of those DSi XLs. I used some of the money to buy her that. I thought she's been wanting one of those and she likes those um, Nintendogs games. Turbo Graphics kept about a dozen. Actually, it would have only been 10, but I couldn't sell uh, Power Golf or World Class Baseball. Um, and by the way, I don't want to get PMs from people saying, you know, I'll buy your stuff. No, no, no. Uh, that stuff down there is for Jake, MN12 Bird. We're doing a trade. I'm going to actually meet him in uh, London next month. Um, oh, and by the way, Jake, if you're watching, you can take more than that from that list. All those photos, take as much as you want. Uh, I don't need it, so don't don't feel like you're being greedy because I want you to take as much as you want. Uh, okay, Coco's. I didn't really get rid of too much of the hardware. I got rid of mostly games, so... But you'll notice it looks a lot barer in here now. But I'm actually happier. It's cleaner. Uh, Otomi. Oh, this I had picked up hoping to sell, but I couldn't. It's some kind of drawing and animation game. Not a game for the Nintendo. These were a couple of pickups I did get, which I had ordered prior to making the last video. So, those are there. Uh, Genesis and Sega Master. I used to have about 30, 35 Sega Master games. I'm down to 6. Genesis went from about 80 to 10. And I got a blip, box blip, a Merlin, and I went from about 30 to 35 Super Nintendo games to 10. So there. Uh, that's about it for the collection right now. There, like I said, there's still some stuff in the basement, but... Um, yeah. Uh, uh, what else to say? What else to say? I hate making these kind of videos because I can never get my thoughts together properly. But yeah, will I be coming back and making more videos? Uh, yeah, I'd like to do a review or two, but if I'm not making pickup videos, um, and I don't need to, uh, I probably won't make videos as much. It'll just be reviews. And see, the funny thing with this now, with these changes that I've made, I find myself playing what I've got a lot more than what I had a huge collection. Altogether, I've probably gone from anywhere from 900, 950 games for all these systems to, um, well, 300. That's it. So I've gotten rid of about two-thirds of the collection, but I enjoy it more. I'm playing it more. Um... So that's about it. I just wanted to give people an update. I didn't want people thinking that um, there were some terrible tragedies in our life. Yeah, there's some challenging things going on right now that I'm not going to get into, but uh, you know, as far as everybody being healthy and, and happy, I guess we're okay. Um, but I, again, I wanted to make a, a more of a non-depressing video because the last one was last one was kind of depressing, so I got rid of it. But I just wanted to give people an update. I'm still here. I'm still around. Many of you know I've made comments on your videos, so uh, that's it. Yeah, I've shrunk the collection, I'm better for it, and I'm still around. So that's basically what I'm trying to get at. Just give people a little update that everything's okay. But I'll, I will be back, but not quite uh, as much as before. Okay, thanks everybody for listening to me ramble on. I uh, hope everyone else is doing well, and I'll talk to you soon.